So welcome everybody uh, to this presentation regarding uh, our new 100 kilowatt storage ready system. First of all, I'd like to give you uh, a general overview regarding uh, um, industrial storage, okay? When it comes to residential storage, we all know that uh, the ratio between peak power and uh, capacity, installed capacity, it's more or less constant. It's more or less always the same. In other terms, we all sleep during the night, more or less, in our houses, or at least we have the lights off. We are most likely out of the home during the day because we work in our workplaces. And we are at home in the morning and mostly in the evenings. This means that uh, our consumption trend in our houses, it's more or less the same. We have made a study regarding all the installations, residential installations we have uh, monitored through our monitoring systems. And uh, we have noticed that the self-consumption in each house it's more or less the same. So in my house, in its house, in your house, we are more or less at the same level of cell consumption. This means that when we install, when we have a storage system, the capacity that we need is more or less the same. What I just said regarding uh, residential installations is not valid when we deal with industrial installation. With industrial installation, the story is completely different because every factory or every commercial activity have different needs. Someone produces during the day, someone else producing, produces also during the night. Someone has seasonal production. Some companies intensify their production activity during summertime or during winter time. So we cannot say that we have a common trend on all the industries. So the most important uh, uh, feature that we need when it comes to industrial storage is flexibility. We need a system which has to be kind of Lego system, something that can be drafted, tailor-made around the need of each and every installation. And now we come to our product. So I leave it to Federico. Yes, thank you, Ricardo. This gives me the opportunity to present to you what I think from a technical point of view is very unique unit, a unique inverter and a masterpiece of technology because this inverter, as Ricardo said, it's a, essentially a PV inverter but can become a storage inverter just connecting on the DC link more one or more towers of battery. So you got your production, 100 kilowatt peak maximum production with your frackers, and you got up to 60 kilowatt power that can be used to charge one or more battery tower. How do we do that? We do it with this link. It's a direct current, it's a continuous current link, that goes to this device, which is a charger, and this charger is a DC-DC converter. 25 kilowatt of maximum power that can communicate with the inverter and decide how to charge this battery tower. The battery tower is composed by blocks, from a minimum to four blocks, up to 10 blocks. That means that we start from 20 kilowatt hours battery, and we'll reach up to 50 kilowatt hours battery for each tower. Then you need more, no problems. We can add another tower linked to the same DC link and we double the power and the capacity. And we can do it up to four times. That means that potentially you can start from 20 kilowatt hours and reach 200 kilowatt hours of storage. 
with a maximum power of 25 of uh, 60 kilowatt 25 h tower so this exactly it's the word flexibility no matter how much you need no matter how much capacity and power you need we can reach it these systems can be used in parallel with other systems that are already existing in the plant, for example, or in parallel between each other. We have another 100K, another 100K, and so on. That's the modularity of the system that can reach very big capacity and power. And in addition to that, of course, all the systems are controlled locally or remotely with all our monitoring devices. If we compare this unit to the traditional uh, hybrid system, so storage systems that we have in our portfolio, uh, you can easily notice that we have moved the charge and discharge converter outside the inverter. And the reason is exactly what I was mentioning before, the flexibility. Mm -hmm. The first flexibility is that you can use this inverter just as a PV inverter, normal PV. So your customer wants to have a PV installation. Okay, here is the product. 100 kilowatt, just PV, pure PV. Then, in a few months, the customer realizes that uh, its consumption during the night, well, it's significant. And that during the day, its production is being injected into the grid. So, well, maybe he has the need of a storage system and that's why we can add one portion of it or two portions of it as described by Federico or three portions of it. So this is the, the level of flexibility I was, I was mentioning before. Availability. Um, the system uh, is, is going to uh, be available quite soon. Actually, it's hard to give uh, an availability because I think in front of me I have uh, people coming from different uh, countries. So uh, the availability depends on the certification availability for different markets. But generally speaking, we can say that between the end of 2023 and end of Q1, 2024, this product will be will be available throughout the whole European market. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this, otherwise we can move around the corner and uh, have a short view regarding uh, uh, the new residential uh, three-phase storage system systems with special reference to a new model of battery that we are introducing into the market, which uh, we think it's, uh, it's interesting. To do. So let's move around the corner. So the one you have in front of your eyes is a storage system for residential and more commercial uh, segments, between 5 and 10 kilowatt, between 10 and 20, and very soon between 10 and 25 kilowatts with uh, batteries, okay, so storage. Yes, the difference, the main difference between these systems and the other one, it's uh, uh, related to the battery system. Uh, the battery tower we've seen on the other side, it's essentially composed by uh, modules in series, which are self-balanced to a direct connection. Uh, this battery concept is slightly different because this is a battery which, uh, with an integrated DC to DC. Uh, so it's no longer a 48 volts or 50 volts battery, it's a 400 volt battery, so high voltage batteries. That means that this connection is not a series, but it's a parallel connection. And what's the reason for that? The reason for that is to allow the customer to install or to add or to remove each single battery uh, whenever they want. So it's not necessary to take into account uh, the balancing when I install a new model on an existing tower or when I have to replace it. Because automatically each single model is taking care of itself. So DC to DC is uh, 
uh, a sort of independency between each model. There is another reason. The other reason is that this system has less power. So we are talking about, for example, a 5 kilowatt inverter. 5 kilowatt inverter can work with a lower capacity of batteries. And in this case, we can connect one model. 5 kilowatt hours, for example, so a very low battery, starting with this 5 kilowatt hour, to reach up to 20, so realizing a tower with 4 batteries, and for these models we can connect up to 2 towers, that means that we can reach, starting from 5, a total capacity of 40 kilowatt hours. Uh, these inverters are as well giving you a lot of flexibility, when we talk about uh, managing of the single phase because those are three phase inverters but you can use it as well in some specific installation has three independent uh, phase systems they work unbalanced so they can somehow compensate the load you have on every single uh, phase of your house independently of each other this is a very good system when we have limitation in current injection into the grid. We have cases where it's needed not to inject to the grid for regulation or for other uh, technical reasons. Back to the battery, the, how much capacity can we install uh, with each one of these inverters? With the small ones, so between 5 and 10 kilowatt power inverters, we can install up to four batteries for a total capacity of 20 kilowatt hours so the one you see here is a 15 kilowatt hours the three batteries you can add another one into it. with larger inverters between 10 and 20 kilowatts uh, you can have two towers connected to each inverter, so meaning eight batteries for a total capacity of 40 kilowatt hours. Uh, availability for these products, um, the battery is already available, so it's available and certified, so it can be ordered uh, immediately. And the delivery is not that long, a few weeks I would say large uh, hybrid inverters, uh, generation 3 uh, hybrid inverters uh, are already available. I think, you know, most part of you have already used it. So this is a proven product which is available uh, for the market since 2020. So it's a three years old product now, very well proven in the market. We have an installed base of few tens of thousands of these units in the field and the new one the g4 small residential uh, three-phase inverter uh, will be available again by the end of this year so that will be available with uh, the certification for low voltage connection by end of 2023 anything to add I just would like to point out a couple of things about the inverter. We discussed about the batteries and how we highlighted some of the key points of the batteries. But don't forget that those inverters are really flexible in terms of installation. I mean that you can install more than one in parallel. If you want to enlarge your system, you can use these inverters in what we call master-slave installations, where there is a master measuring the system and communicating to the slaves what to do. So they act as a unique inverter to charge and discharge their batteries. Second point, you can use these in retrofit, adding the system without modules where you already have a plant. Imagine you already have a plant uh, realized some years ago and you want to add storage. You can do that. You can do it without installing modules because this inverter is bidirectional that means that can use the AC power to charge the battery so just measuring the point of connection when we have excess of power we use it to charge the battery when we need power we discharge the batteries and third of all um, this inverter we said parallel 
in retrofit and so the system it's really really scalable you can scale the system up to 10 of these devices in master slave configuration well okay last but not least uh, you can have a mixed configuration with uh, normal PV inverter parallel to a hybrid inverter. Let me make a, a quick example. We just spoke before about 100 kilowatt system storage rate. Um, say that you want to uh, install a 50 kilowatt system with storage. You can have either three hybrid inverters, 110 and 220 kilowatt to reach the total power peak power of 50 kilowatt, but you can also mix traditional on-grid PV inverters with hybrid ones. So for example, you have a 30 kilowatt inverter in parallel to a 20 kilowatt hybrid. And the nice thing of these hybrid systems is that they can charge the battery, taking energy not only from the panels connected to the hybrid itself, but also taking energy from the panels connected to the traditional PV on-grid inverter. So you can use your full um, generator, PV generator, to charge the battery through this device. If you have any questions, we are available. You can just uh, you know, reach us um, after the presentation and uh, we are available to answer to your questions. Thanks, thanks a lot for your attention and uh, have a glass of wine. Thank you very much.